Osseus is AFKable, and I'm here to show you that you can get it done with tier 90s. So if you're excited and that interests you, make sure to stay tuned. Let's dive in. As for the requirements, there are a couple things you do need to get done before you have the chance to take on Osseus. First off, you will need to complete the Osseus Rex quest, which does require level 70 necromancy and also level 30 archaeology. As for the requirements for the fight itself, the requirements are 90 necromancy, so you can actually take on Osseus without having any trouble. Level 80 summoning, so you can use a Holy Scare Rep Familiar, which we will get into a little bit later. 107 Herblore, so you can use an Elder Overload Salve. 95 Prayer, so you can use your Ancient Curses. And yes, that does require the completion of the Temple S Intestine quest. And following up, you're going to need 89 inventions, so you do have your Ancient Gizmos unlocked for your perks on your gear. My only recommendation for you guys is to find your favorite TV show because this AFK method is amazing. Following that up, you can expect to make about 15.8 million GP per hour and around 600k XP per hour for Necromancy and about 200,000 XP per hour for your Constitution. As for the gear, we are going to be running with the Tier 90 Death Warden set along with the Tier 90 Death Dealer gloves just so we can put on an extra 2% chance of landing the Death Mark on Osseus. As for the aura, I will be using the Vampirism aura for this video, but the Equilibrium aura and the Inspiration aura do work while using the Tier 90 method. After that, we do have the Max Cape on this video. I am not running with a Zuck Cape, so I can show you guys the Tier 90 gear and weapons along with just the Max Cape can get this done. As for the necklace slot, we are running with the necklace of Salamancy. I like to use this since it does do extra damage to dinosaurs, but it also gives you an extra 3% drop rate while killing dinosaurs. Also, if you don't have that, you can always use the Salve Amulet E if you have that unlocked since Osseus is classified as undead. As for the ring slot, we are running with the Occultist Ring. If you guys don't have the Occultist Ring, the Reaver's Ring would do more than enough for this since you will have almost a 100% hit chance on Osseus. As for the ammo slot, we do have our Nexus, so it holds all of our Necromancy Ruins. We are running with the Tier 90 weapons, just to showcase that you can get it done that way. And in the pocket slot, we do have a Scripture of When God Book. As for the inventory, it's not an AFK method unless you have Potion Reservoirs. And inside of those Potion Reservoirs will be your Elder Overload Salves, because Osseus hits like a truck and you need every boost that you can possibly get. I do have a blessed flask, but anything with a prayer renewal can always work here. A full restore flask could work for you guys, but you don't really need it because you're going to have your powder of penance and your holy scarab working together to keep your prayer up. We do have some magic note paper inside of the inventory because you're going to have all of the damaged dinosaur bones that you will be noting, so you can throw it into your alchemizer later. And like I said, we are going to be running with the Holy Scare Rep Familiar that's going to help reduce how much prayer you're using while using Soul Split during the method. And that goes hand in hand with the Powder of Penance, which every time you get hit, you regain some prayer. We are going to bring a Spring Cleaner because actually, Osseus drops a lot of alcohols. And when I say a lot, you gain a lot of coins by just using the spring cleaner from all of the alcohols that Osseus drops. After that, we do have an enhanced Excalibur. If you have it unlocked, bring it with you everywhere you go for PVM and, and an ancient Elven Rotional Shard. If you have it, if you don't, you don't need to bring it because like I said, the Powder of Penance and the Holy Scarab Familiar will do just great. As for the Relic Powers, I have Conservation of Energy, Persistent Rage, and Death Note. Conservation of Energy, you don't really need. You can put a Death Ward in there or Berserker's Fury. It just helps with the one time that you actually use your Death Scrolls in the very beginning just to hold an extra 10% of your Adrenaline. Persistent Rage is important and is mandatory to put into your Relic Powers. It's only because in between all of the fights, you want to be able to re gain all of your adrenaline back before the next fight actually starts as for death note you can bring it if you want it saves you a lot of money with your magic note paper but it does note all of the dinosaur bones that you gain but it does not know all of the damaged dinosaur bones so that's why we still bring magic note paper as for the perks on the gear it is not best in slot stuff but it is stuff that will work and help out for you so as for the augmented skull lantern we will be running with precise six and only precise six this is just to show you guys that you can get it done without best in slot perks 
After that, we have our Death Warden Robe Bottoms that has Lucky Six, Absorbent of One, and Absorbent of Four because I am weird like that. And then Death Warden Top, we have Crackling Four, Crystal Shield Four. And then our Death Guard, we have Aftershock One, Undead Slayer, which Undead Slayer would be very important to get on fighting anything undead because it does boost your damage up by a lot. As for the Revolution Bar, we are going to be running with Conjure Army, Ghost, Soul Sap, Death Skull, Scythe, Skeleton, Divert, Volley of Souls, and Anticipate. And how this rotation actually works, the Death Skulls only gets used once per fight, and it's at the very beginning of the fight. You'll never see that be used again, even while using a Zuck cape now the scythe does hit precisely for when all of the little dinosaur babies come running at you and you'll see that later on when i show off the fight and divert happens to be in the right spot for when osseus decides to do her big chomp later in the fight and divert happens to be used at the perfect time anticipate is at the very end of the revolution bar because there is a tail swipe that happens when the baby dinosaurs come out and it does stun you but anticipate gets used pretty often during that moment to where you do not get stunned which is super crucial for the entire rotation later on in the fight and just in case i have to say we'll be using all four of the conjures for our conjurer of army now there are a few ways to get to Osseus. If you guys have taken out Osseus before, you can easily use Wars Retreat Portal, or if you are max, you can use a max guild portal before you've even had a single kill. Other than that, you are gonna have to go to Anachronia's base camp, and you're gonna have to run all the way around, as you see on screen, to the teleportation device, which does take you to the Rex Matriarchs' lair, and then you just follow through with that. But again, if you guys have completed the quest already, you already know where you have to go to meet Osseus. Now, before you actually take on Osseus, I highly suggest joining an uninstant counter. You go into the Osseus teleportation device and you have to set your arrival point to Osseus, not the island, but where you pop up right in front of Osseus on her side of the map. This just makes things a lot smoother for the initial first fight for everything that you need prepared for this AFK method we'll get into that a little bit later while i show the fighting now before you join an instance you want to make sure everything is activated you want to turn on your vampirism aura you want to activate your god book you want to make sure you switch on one of your potion reservoirs which is holding your elder overload salves you summon your holy scabrab familiar and you sprinkle a bunch of powder of penance you make sure you hit your darkness and then you run through and once you run through you're just going to go and click on the teleportation device that you've already adjusted to arrive on osseus side and then you're just going to turn on your prayers and for the prayers we are using will be soul split and the tier 95 necromancy damage prayer and at this point, you are going to let Osseus hit you. You never click Osseus in the very beginning because it actually screws up the rotation for the entire fight. Because if you start attacking too soon and before Osseus actually starts attacking you, the rotation for Divert and your Anticipate do not line up properly. And especially your sights when it becomes with the baby dinosaurs. So you want to make sure Osseus actually hits you. You do not hit Osseus at all. Now, you saw the Death Skulls get used. That is the only time Death Skulls is used in every single fight. Now, Scythe gets used at the exact time right there. And you'll see that when the baby dinosaurs came up, you actually took out a good bit of them with the third tier of the Scythe. And then during the entire time the baby dinosaurs are attacking you, you hit them with at least a tier two Scythe once more. And then you want to at least make sure two of them are dead every single time. But you don't have to worry about it because they hardly do any kind of damage lately, especially with the new Conjure. Now with this mechanic, you will notice that Divert gets used during your stun part where you have to deal 5,000 damage to Osseus. And that is super crucial for every single time you do with this rotation because Osseus will do about 5 to 6500 damage to you if your divert does not go off in that very certain spot but again when you watch the rotation when you start getting dragged to the center of the screen don't be afraid to see that you have a couple of abilities in front of divert that need to go off before because divert will still go off in that meantime because it takes a while for osseus to be able to do the giant chomp now, if you were lucky enough for your Death Dealer Gloves to invoke death on Osseus, you will finish off the fight at 30k health. But if not, it is still okay. You'll have the baby dinosaurs come 
up and they'll start healing Osseus for a longer period of time than the first time you see them. But they are there healing Osseus, but you don't have to worry because you do finish off Osseus pretty quickly as the baby dinosaurs are still healing her. Now, during the entire fight, the only thing you have to keep an eye out for will be your darkness incantation, which I only suggest you ever activating in between fights when your adrenaline is at 100%. Because if you don't have 100% of adrenaline going into each fight, you will die because your rotation does not happen exactly the way it needs to for your divert and your sights to hit. So again, darkness incantation in between fights only when you are at 100% adrenaline. Other than that, you're going to have to keep an eye on your potion reservoir. If it goes away, then you're going to have to you know, open up a new one and put an Elder Overload South in it and switch it on. And your Powder of Penance when you hit about 30 minutes into each of the fights. Everything else has a long enough duration to be able to last the entire fight, which I'm speaking for your Aura and your Holy Scarab familiar along with your god book now while doing this afk method you could expect about 30 to 33 kills an hour with the tier 90 setup now the drop rates are not terrible whatsoever i'm looking at about every 300 kills i get a gel cell key and about every 100 kills i get an oculus ring which goes for about 30 mil a piece right now and in betweens, you get a bunch of different loot as well. You get all of the spear components that you need to make the spear, along with the new Skiska's Hypno Wand pieces that Osseus does drop, but it doesn't count to a collection log. Now, for the normal loot that you will get for the dinosaur bones, if you have the Death Note Relic, then you don't have to worry about noting them because they're already noted on drop. You just grab them. Now, for the damaged dinosaur bones, you will have to note every single time. And I would suggest after every hour of doing Osseus to take your damaged dinosaur bones and go throw them in your Alchemizer since they do Alchemize for 5,000 GP each. But that does come an end to this video. If you guys found anything interesting or useful, make sure to hit that like button. And if you guys are brand new to the channel and you like to see more PVM work like this with an AFK method or a low effort method like my Rassio that you will see on the channel, you must hit that sub button. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when I upload next. But until next time, guys, I hope you stay safe. See you.